eighteen hundred hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by ali ahmed first the headlines prime minister has assured that the federal government will play its due role in resolving the issues of the people of sindh especially karachi rescue and relief operation in rains affected areas of karachi are underway as teams of Pakistan Army, Navy and Synth Rangers are shifting the stranded people to the safer places. Minister for Planning has assured the government's all sort of financial support to Kamyab Jawan program to make it successful. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred two more Kashmiri youth in Shipanya district today. In Afghanistan, 13 people were killed in a landmine blast in Kandahar province today. Six members of Shirvan military intelligence were killed in an attack by Daesh militants in Dair al zor province today. And now, the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says he is fully cognizant of the issues and development needs of the people of Sindh, especially the residents of Karachi and the federal government, will play its due role in this regard. He was chairing a meeting in Islamabad today to review various development projects being completed in Karachi by the federal government. A detailed review of the federal government's projects in Sindh and Karachi was presented before the meeting. Governor Sindh Imran Ismail briefed the Prime Minister about the latest situation in Karachi in the wake of recent rains. The Prime Minister said a comprehensive plan is being devised for provision of clean drinking water and to address the issues of sewerage and drainage in Karachi. He said directions have been issued to all federal government departments to provide relief to the people of Karachi. The Prime Minister assured every possible assistance to Sindh, Chief Minister from the federal government and its institutions. Imran Khan emphasized that Karachi is the most important city of Pakistan and all resources will be utilized to address the current emergency situation. Moderate to heavy rain lashed various parts of Karachi today, causing inundation of low-lying areas. Gulshane Hadith, Qayyadabad, Jokyo Goth and other areas in Malid district of the city received rain today. Meanwhile, rescue and relief operation in rain-affected areas of the city are underway and stranded people are being evacuated to safer places with the help of Pakistan Army, Navy, Sindh Rangers and other civic agencies. Pakistan Army has established a flood emergency control center to deal with the flood-relating emergencies, while medical camps have also been established in the areas of Gulbarg, Liaquatabad and New Karachi. It may be pointed out that the current spell of rain in the metropolis broke the record of maximum rain recorded in one day, with 223 millimeters of rain recorded in just 12 hours. The previous recorded was 211 millimeters in 24 hours in July 1967. 16 people have died while another eight injured due to torrential rains in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. According to Provincial Disaster Management Authority, eight people died in Upper Kohistan, six in Swat, while two persons died in Shangla district. A total of 25 houses were completely damaged, while 29 were partially damaged. The teams of Provincial Disaster Management Authority have distributed necessary equipment among the affected. Efforts are also underway to clear the blocked roads in the affected areas. Meanwhile, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government has announced the compensation for the flood affected in the province. 500,000 rupees will be paid to the hires of those who died, while 100,000 rupees will be paid to the injured during the recent torrential rains. Rescue and relief activities are underway in rain-affected areas of Balochistan. Balochistan Home Minister Mir Ziaullah Langov, in a statement in Quetta today, said the Provincial Disaster Management Authority, in coordination with District Administration, is taking effective steps to cope with the situation, emerged after monsoon rains in some districts of the province. He said the Provincial Disaster Management Authority has distributed relief items in most of the affected areas of the province. Karakoram Highway between Kohistan and Gilgit-Baltistan has been closed for traffic. 
The road was hit by landslides at Tattapani, Lalpari near Raikot in Gilgit and other many points. Our Gilgit correspondent said Sazin RCC bridge was also affected by landslide. PIA flights from Islamabad to Gilgit have also been suspended for the last three days due to inclement weather condition. This is Radio Pakistan. Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar has assured the government's all sort of financial support to Kam Yad Jawan program to make it successful. Talking to the Prime Minister's special assistant on youth affairs, Mohammed Usman Dar in Islamabad today, he said youths are an asset and they will prove to be helpful in the country's progress. Speaking on the occasion, Mohammed Usman Dar said, Kam Yad Jawan program will provide employment to one million youths. He said the youth who received money from the program have started business activities. The two leaders also discussed in detail their plan for the new responsibilities of the Tiger Force. Ambassador of Qatar, Sheikh Saud bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani, handed over a shipment of medical items to Minister of State for States and Frontier Regions, Shahriyar Khan Afridi in Islamabad to help Afghan refugees fight COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking on the occasion, Shahriyar Khan Afridi said the donations would greatly help the Afghan refugees in fight against the pandemic. Sensitizing the ambassador of a plight of Kashmiri Muslims, Shahriyar Afridi said Hindutva regime in India is targeting religious minorities for mass conversions and Muslims are especially being targeted. He said Kashmir has become a specific area where Muslims are being martyred, imprisoned, and women are raped under a vicious plan of Muslim genocide. The Qatari ambassador said his country has been working with Pakistan on plans and initiatives to help the needy and deserving. He said Qatar has doubled the number of Pakistani labor visas and the process has also been simplified. Pakistan has offered its sympathies and condolences to the government and people of Afghanistan over the loss of precious lives and material damage due to heavy rains in Parwan province. In a tweet today, Foreign Office spokesperson Zahid Hafiz Chaudhry said Pakistan stands in solidarity with Afghanistan in this hour of grief and prayer for recovery of the missing people. According to Afghan media, over 110 people have been killed due to flash floods in Parwan province during the last 24 hours. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred two more Kashmiri youth in Shippingya district today. The troops martyred the youth during a cordon and search operation in Kilora area of the district. In Afghanistan, 13 people were killed when a vehicle set off a landmine in southern Kandahar province today. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani has stressed the need of the responsibility of International Atomic Energy Agency in keeping the joint comprehensive plan of action of Iranian nuclear program. During a meeting with the IAEA Director General Rafael Mariano Grossi in Tehran, he underlined the importance of the JCPOA for Iran and said the 2015 nuclear deal brought about tranquility for the whole region and the world. IAEA Director General stressed the need to boost Iran IAEA cooperation and said the cooperation should not be affected by the foreign voices. In Syria, six members of Syrian military intelligence were killed in an attack by Daesh militants in Dair al zor province today. The UK-based watchdog group said Daesh militants used machine guns in their attack. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged all G20 countries to invest in a clean, green transition as they recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Virtually delivering a lecture, he said that clean energy and closing the energy excess gap are good business. The first T20 of the three-match series between Pakistan and England will be played at Manchester today. The match will begin at 10 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather report. Rain, wind with thunder showers are expected in Islamabad, Upper Punjab, Lower Sindh, Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan and Kashmir during the next 12 hours. More rain thunderstorm is also expected at isolated places in South Punjab and Eastern Balochistan. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk. 
And for the live video streaming of our bulletins, visit the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.